Hi, I'm Mr. Wild, and for today's project, I'm going to be making a piece of op art using mostly colored pencils. Step one, fold your nine inch by 12 inch paper in half, making your drawing surface nine inches by six inches. Step two, along the top of your paper, on one of the long nine inch edges, draw nine short hash marks with your pencil. Make sure the spacing is uneven with some longer and some shorter distances between the hash marks. Then, on the bottom of your paper, along the other nine inch edge, draw another set of nine short hash marks. Again, make sure the spacing is uneven and don't let the bottom hash mark lines line up with the first set of hash marks. Step three, with your pencil, draw nine wavy lines that connect your hash marks. Each wavy line should be different from the previous line. With your pencil, draw one horizontal wavy line that crosses all nine of the other wavy lines somewhere through the middle of the lines. Right now, all of these lines are actually reference lines that will help us place our ink lines. For the long horizontal wavy line, all lines drawn above that line will curve upwards. All lines below that line will curve downwards. For the next step, you will switch to using a pen. Your Micron pen will work great for this step, but also any fine tipped pen will work. With your pen, begin to draw curvy lines above the horizontal wavy line. And yes, they should curve upwards. Each new line should start at the previous line, and yes, they should overlap just a little bit. Move from column to column, but stay within the wavy lines that define each column. After finishing the tops of the columns, move to the bottoms of the columns, making sure the lines curve downward this time.
Step six, give the ink a few minutes to dry, then use an eraser to erase any remaining pencil lines. This includes the long horizontal pencil line that intersected all the other lines. Step seven, start coloring in the columns. Each column will be colored with two colors plus white to help blend the colors. You'll need to alternate colors. For instance, blue, then magenta, then blue again, creating a candy striped pattern. Also, the colors will be darker at the edges, then lighten up as they move towards the middle of the column, with the middle of the column remaining white. Upon moving to the next column, pick two colors that are different from the first column, but still following the same instructions. Continue to color each column. You'll probably need to use the same colors now and again, but try to use a different color combination. For instance, if you've already used red and yellow for one column, use red and blue the next time you use the red, and green and yellow for the next time you use yellow.
Upon finishing all columns, you will have completed your own op art pattern.